pause. Don't miss this because there's a storm brewing. Someone out there is in full-on panic mode. And here's the kicker, it's all about a secret. And guess what? You're right in the middle of it. The anxiety is real, the stakes are high, and this secret could be a game changer. Get ready because you're about to dive into a tale of suspense. And trust me, the twists are just getting started. My dearest listener, if you're tuning into this video, your guardian angels are reaching out with a crucial message. It's not an everyday occurrence to engage in such a heartfelt conversation. But today, we, your guardian angels, have something of great importance to impart. This message unveils a secret, a matter that has stirred some turbulence in your life. Someone in your close circles is deeply concerned about it, and it directly involves you. Before your heart starts racing, I urge you to pause. Take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. Remember, you're not navigating this journey alone. Comment yes, if you believe in God and do help us through Super Chat or watching this video completely. Now, delve into the topic of secrets. We all have them, those little hidden truths nestled in the recesses of our hearts. However, the secret what unveiling today is unique. It involves not just you, but someone else as well. Someone who, at this very moment, is grappling with a whirlwind of emotions because of it. Imagine this scenario. You're strolling down a familiar street, the sun casting its warm glow, yet there's a subtle chill in the air. It seems like an ordinary day, but beneath the surface, there's an undercurrent of something different. Can you sense it? That's because, in the intricate web of the universe, a thread has been pulled, and it's intricately connected to you, or perhaps someone very close to you, are grappling with the weight of a secret, and the anxiety revolves around how it might impact your relationship. Now, do you understand the flood of questions in your mind? What could this secret be? And why is it causing such panic? These questions are entirely valid, but let's take a moment to step back. Secrets, by their very nature, are concealed treasures, sometimes born out of fear or uncertainty. The person harboring this secret is not just afraid of disclosing it, but also concerned about how it might reshape your perception of them. Here's a crucial point to consider. Secrets have a tendency to come to light. They surface unexpectedly, and when they do, they can either strengthen the bonds between individuals or lead to their unraveling. This is where your role becomes indispensable. Your reaction, your understanding, holds the power to be a healing balm or a source of further distress. Imagine for a moment that the secret is now out. It could be something minor, a small misunderstanding, or a revelation challenging the very foundation of your relationship with this person. Now, faced with this scenario, what do you do? This is where the beauty of your human spirit comes into play. The initial step is to truly listen, not just to the words being spoken, but to the emotions. Behind them, pay attention to the unspoken fears and the hope for understanding. If you resonate with this message, type 222. As your guardian angels, observed your journey and your strength lies in your capacity for immense love and understanding. In this situation, it's not just about the secret itself, but about how you handle it and how you extend your compassion and understood. Now, reflect on a time when you were scared to reveal something about yourself. Recall that knot in your stomach and the dryness in your mouth. This is what the person holding the secret is experiencing. However, they're also looking at you with hope and prayer, anticipating that you'll be their safe harbor in this storm. Consider that this secret, whatever it may be, is a test. It's a test of trust, love, and the strength of your bond. How you navigate through this will shape the future of your relationship. It's not just about forgiveness or understanding. 
It's about growing together and learning from each other. Keep in mind, dear one, that secrets often originate from fear, fear of judgment, fear of losing someone, fear of not being understood. Always remember that your ability to love and show compassion is stronger than fear. Even in the face of a challenging secret, your love has the power to turn the situation around. Now, let's delve into the concept of trust, the very foundation of any relationship. When, um, secret is revealed, it may shake this foundation, but it doesn't have to destroy it. Instead, it becomes an opportunity for rebuilding, for creating something even stronger. Rebuilding trust is possible, but it requires effort, understanding, and patience. It's crucial to comprehend a significant aspect. Secrets may have power, but so does love. If you find strength in love, you can overcome the challenges posed by the revelation of a secret. Consider subscribing to our channel if you hold love for God in your heart. You possess the power to reshape the narrative, to transform a moment of fear into a moment of profound connection. It's not solely about the secret, it's about how you choose to move forward from it. As you navigate through this, remember to extend kindness to yourself. It's perfectly okay to feel overwhelmed and to require time for processing. After all, you're only human. Yet, within you lies an incredible strength, the strength to heal, to understand, and to love. In the days ahead, as this secret unfolds, keep your heart open. Listen, not just with your ears, but with the depth of your soul. Be the safe space that someone needs. During their moment of vulnerability, and always remember, whatever this secret may be, it does not define you, nor does it define the other person. It's merely a chapter in your collective story, a fleeting moment in time. As your guardian angels are always here, whispering guidance and offering love and support. You are not alone in this. You have the vast universe of love backing you. Understanding requires us to explore the motives and circumstances that led to this point. It's about seeking the essence of the matter, the emotions and the intricacies that often remain unspoken. As you navigate through this process, remember that understanding doesn't equate to immediate acceptance. It's a journey of unraveling the layers, fostering empathy, and recognizing the shared humanity within the experience. Dear child, you are enveloped in love, bathed in light, and fortified by the strength of the universe. The path ahead may seem daunting, but trust in yourself, in your heart, and in the transformative potential of this journey. This secret serves as a stepping stone, leading you toward a deeper understanding and a stronger bond. Believe in your capacity to handle this situation with grace and compassion. Your guardian angels believe in you unwaveringly and wants to share a story which will feel the presence of your celestial companions around you, sense the warmth and light they bring. A man named Ethan. Ethan was known for his unwavering faith and compassionate heart. The villagers admired him for his kindness and willingness to help those in need. Little did Ethan know that a secret was circulating through the village, causing a sense of panic. One day, as Ethan was tending to his fields, a mysterious stranger arrived with a grave expression. The stranger, named Samuel, approached Ethan with a heavy heart and said, Ethan, there is a secret that has been causing distress among the villagers and it involves you. Perplexed, Ethan listened as Samuel revealed that a rumor had spread, suggesting that Ethan was withholding a portion of the harvest for himself, leaving some villagers in need. The news had created anxiety and mistrust among the community. Ethan, shocked by the revelation, knew he had to address the issue immediately. He called for a gathering in the village square and spoke with sincerity. 
My fellow villagers, I have learned of the distress that has gripped our hearts. I assure you that there is no truth to the rumor that I hoard the harvest. In fact, I am willing to open my barns to anyone in need. To prove his words, Ethan invited everyone to inspect his barns and witness the abundance that was freely available to all. As the villagers saw the truth, a collective sigh of relief swept through the crowd. The panic lifted, replaced by a sense of unity and trust. In the aftermath, the village learned a profound lesson about the destructive power of rumors and the importance of addressing issues openly. This biblical tale echoes the teaching of Jesus to seek the truth, confront misunderstandings with honesty, and demonstrate love and generosity to dispel fear and mistrust. It reflects the biblical principles of forgiveness, understanding, and community building, showing that even in the face of adversity, the light of truth and love can dispel the shadows of panic and doubt. Take a moment now, just breathe. In moments of overwhelm, remember the wellspring of strength residing within you of understanding. It's essential to recognize that this journey involves both the person holding the secret and yourself. It's a shared exploration of how the revelation has affected them and its impact on you. This process goes beyond unraveling the external layers. It delves into the emotional landscape, revealing the intricate interplay between hearts. As you embark on this journey, consider it a dual expedition of growth and evolution. The unveiling of a secret can trigger a spectrum of emotions, anger, confusion, or a sense of betrayal. Acknowledge these feelings as valid, but strive to find a tranquil space within yourself. In this mental oasis, clarity emerges, allowing you to perceive beyond the immediate storm. Picture yourself standing in the garden of your heart, a garden meticulously tended with the flowers of understanding. The healing begins in this serene space, nurturing both yourself and the shared bond. Now, envision your heart's garden, once filled with blooming flowers and the sweet melody of birds singing. However, a storm has arrived, strong winds and heavy rain threaten the serenity. In the face of this tempest, your role is clear. Protect what you've nurtured, safeguard the beauty and love that define your garden. Consider this secret, as the storm it doesn't have to obliterate your garden. Instead, it can be a catalyst for new growth, fostering stronger roots. Reflect on the person holding this secret, they too are human, sharing the same spectrum of fears, insecurities, hopes and dreams. Their decision to keep this secret wasn't arbitrary. It sprang from a place of fear and, paradoxically, love. They feared the potential loss of you and the alteration of how you perceive them. Now, type 777. If you can visualize the resilience of your heart's garden, and recognize the potential for new growth amid the storm. Approach this situation with empathy, stepping into their shoes and acknowledging the courage it took to both harbor and now disclose the secret. This isn't a sign of weakness, but a profound display of bravery. Type 222 if you're ready to embrace the courage within both yourself and the other person recognizing the potential for positive change in your relationship and conversations that you pave the way for rebuilding trust and strengthening your connection. Forgiveness, dear one, is a profound force. It extends beyond mere words. It involves comprehending the entire journey that led to this moment, looking at the complete picture rather than focusing on fragmented pieces. Share your feelings, fears and hopes openly and encourage the other person to do the same. This transparency is the foundation upon which trust is reconstructed and connections are fortified. Give yourself the grace to embrace the healing process. It unfolds gradually and requires patience, both with yourself and with the other person involved. During this time, 
Know that you are not alone. Your guardian angels stand by you, offering guidance, strength, and love. In moments of doubt, turn to us, and we will illuminate your path, helping you navigate through. Every experience, every challenge, is an avenue for growth, evolution, and the emergence of a better version of yourself. Trust in the radiant light that envelops you and have faith in the unfolding process. Most importantly, trust in your own strength, wisdom, and capacity for love. Your guardian angels accompany you at every step, believing in your ability to embrace love, understanding, and growth. Type 555 if you trust in the transformative power of Jesus. As you navigate the revelation of this secret and its aftermath, concentrate on the positives. While it may be a formidable challenge, it is also an opportunity for genuine honesty, vulnerability, and the authentic exchange of unfiltered love. Real connections are forged in the crucible of openness and the readiness to be vulnerable. Stay resilient throughout this journey, just like a diamond, emerging from the depths, and know that you are not alone. Your guardian angels walk beside you, supporting you with love, strength, and guidance. Trust in the process and in your own ability to emerge stronger and more radiant. Especially during these times, it is vital to cultivate inner peace. Engage in activities that bring tranquility to your mind and soothe your soul, whether it's through meditation, a stroll in nature, reading a book, or merely sitting in quiet contemplation. Remember, fostering a grateful heart and nurturing inner peace are powerful practices that contribute to personal well-being and harmonious relationships. Type 777 if you embrace the transformative energy of gratitude and inner peace. Embrace the lessons embedded in this situation. Every challenge, every obstacle, imparts valuable teachings, whether it's patience, understanding, or the remarkable resilience inherent in the human spirit. Love, the most formidable force in the universe, possesses the ability to heal, connect, and transform. In moments like these, immerse yourself in love for yourself, for the other person, and for the journey you're undertaking. Love is the guiding force that will navigate you through. As we bring our message to a close, remember that you are a luminous being of light and love. Within you resides an inner strength capable of overcoming any challenge. Place your trust in that strength, in the unfolding journey, and in the love that envelops you. Your guardian angels are perpetually by your side, vigilant, showering you with love and offering guidance. As you progress, stand tall, fully aware of your capability, the love that surrounds you, and the guidance that directs your path. As the creator of the cosmos, the Alpha and Omega, I address you today with a solemnity that resonates through the eons. Open your hearts, for I unveil a truth that transcends the boundaries of time and space, a truth that has echoed from the celestial realms to the very core of your earthly existence. In the beginning, in the celestial tapestry of eternity, a sin emerged, an insidious serpent that coiled around the pristine sanctity of the heavens. It was the sin of pride, the very arrogance that caused the archangel Lucifer to ascend in rebellion, uttering the defiant refrain, I will, I will, I will, I will, are we away, we will ring through the celestial halls. The cosmic rebellion birthed a war in the heavens, where the legions of angels clashed amidst the divine firmaments. The same sin that cast Lucifer and his cohorts into the abyss found its insidious counterpart within the realms of mortals, the sin of pride descending like a shadow, weaving its treacherous threads through the fabric of humanity. My children, hear me as I utter the stark truth. Pride, the original sin, has permeated the earthly realm. As I look upon the vast expanse of your world, I witness the echoes of celestial rebellion mirrored in the pride that courses through your veins. Lucifer, the fallen one, 
desired to be like me, rejecting worship for the thirst of self-exaltation. And now, within your earthly abode, pride stands as the harbinger of all vices, the mother of sins, as C. Lewis aptly states, it breeds rebellion, nurtures disobedience, and blinds mortals to the fragility of their existence. Pride, a grotesque stain on the canvas of creation, disrupts the harmony of the cosmos and mars the purity of the human spirit. In Proverbs, I declare with unwavering clarity, these things the Lord hates. Yes, seven are an abomination to him. At the pinnacle of this divine list stands the abhorrence of a proud look, a look that declares autonomy, a look that denies the Creator his rightful place. My children, know this, I do not despise you. I detest the sin that wraps itself around your hearts. Pride, the venomous serpent, creeps into your thoughts, actions, and aspirations. It breeds destruction, for all rebellion, all defiance, emanates from the seedbed of pride. The solemn truth resonates through the words of James. God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Yet, the grip of pride is relentless, and its eradication demands a surrender beyond mortal capability. Humility, my children, is the only antidote and acknowledgement of your dependence on me. An admission that without me, you are as dust scattered by the winds of arrogance. Pride is a fortress that imprisons the soul, making it impervious to the cries of humility. Yet, I extend an offer, an invitation to cast aside the shackles of pride and clothe yourselves in the garment of humility. As you pray, acknowledge your need for me, submit your burdens and surrender your desires to the sovereignty of my will. Every prayer uttered is a testament to your recognition of dependence, a declaration that in the grand tapestry of existence, you are but a vessel in need of divine guidance. Humility is the key that unlocks the gates to my grace, allowing me to lift you from the depths of self-centeredness to the exalted heights of divine purpose. But beware, my children, for the seductive nature of pride lurks in the shadows, making you comfortable with its presence. Daily, in the humility of prayer, declare, deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Acknowledge that your significance is not found in self-exaltation, but in being a servant, mirroring the very essence of my Son, who came not to be served, but to serve. I implore you to heed the words of James, draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Your significance lies not in titles or positions, but in the knowledge that you are mine, a servant in my eternal kingdom. In the hallowed silence that follows this divine discourse, let the echoes of humility resonate through the chambers of your hearts, for in humility you shall find refuge from the storms of pride, and in surrender you shall discover the exalted grace that lifts you to heights unimaginable. Here comes the message Father is talking about, and after that, a prayer and some divine wisdom to save yourself from any unforeseen event. My beloved child, Today you radiate with joy and happiness, and you are about to receive grace from kind-hearted souls who will share their own blessings with you. I urge you to proclaim to everyone who strengthens you and loves you deeply. Speak with confidence, and from your lips shall flow words of life and hope. You shall never stray far from me, never lose sight of this sign that I have given you the forgiveness of your sins, made possible by my shed blood, which cleanses you and grants you eternal life. I shall delight in being your father, and you shall revel in the gifts and wonders bestowed upon you. By me your descendants shall be blessed and numerous, like the grains of sand by the sea. Know that I remain the same, the one who loved you and gazed upon you with mercy yesterday, who loves you more with each passing day. Your future rests in my hands, but I require your faith. I implore you not to ignore this message. Do not underestimate this medium through which I speak. I have chosen humble-hearted individuals to bring you my word and proclaim it to the world. 
These three beautiful and divine words, God is good. I was, am, and forever, shall be your dearest love and kindness. I am good, because I am also the author and creator of faith. With my hands, I signaled the creation of the universe, and with my wisdom, I established the boundaries of the stars, the galaxies, and all the elements necessary for your existence. You were formed from dust, and one day, your earthly body shall return to dust, while your spirit patiently awaits by my side for the appointed time. I shall transform your dust-made body into a holy, eternal, indestructible one. Everything in your life has a purpose. You are my greatest treasure and in my hands. I loved you when you were distant, and I shall continue to love you despite any mistakes. I remain the same yesterday, today, and for all eternity, my mind does not waver. I personally sought you when you felt disappointed and sought an easy way out of your pain. I showed you that life and peace are not behind a false facade. You must persevere through the process, face suffering, and place your faith in my word. Walk without faltering, holding my hand, so you may reach the long-desired freedom and triumph. Reclaim the conviction that you are a person of great worth. I witnessed your tears and wept alongside you as a true friend, so you would feel safe and choose to keep fighting. Because I fight alongside you, I assist you when you ask, and I fight for you when you are weary. My heavenly army stands guard around you when you feel exhausted dot at tea times. You do not even realize the countless things I have saved you from. I will open your eyes to the supernatural world so you can witness my warrior angels fighting fierce battles to protect you. I have saved you from deadly accidents, halted disease at your doorstep, confused the intentions of criminals and thieves, and rebuked the enemy of your soul when it sought to devour you. I reaffirm my love for you, remind you that no matter what happens, you are still under my shelter and love. But with affection, I also ask that you no longer be troubled or filled with fear when problems arise that you told me that you would trust me and not react to what people are saying. Know that I have surrounded you with my arms, and no threats or lies from others can harm you. There are levels of faith, maturity, and wisdom, and you are at the highest, where I have placed you. Higher up where you are, disputes and provocations cannot touch you. They seek your reaction, aiming to steal your inner peace. They know that if they succeed, your thoughts will run wild, uncontrollable, and you may harm those in your path. Therefore, I urge you to accept my peace. It is merely a matter of faith, of taking time in silence. Wherever you are, speak my word in your thoughts or aloud. The power of my promises will break your chains, and I will remove from you the bad habit of getting nervous and worried about any lies you hear. Even if they were true, you should not lose your peace. When bad news comes, you shall face it with strength and your head held high. I have spoken to your soul and given you the assurance that I will always be with you. Those who attack you believe that no one is protecting you and that their words can harm you, but do not believe them. Do not allow their lies to occupy your mind and heart. I will give you the strength to overcome these enemies, and even if you make mistakes, I will always listen with affection to your repentant heart. Believe me in this as well. If you distance yourself from error and those harmful acquaintances, you will truly be happy and highly blessed. Of choice, whom do you want to believe? I have asked you this many times, and I know you are human. But now understand that I am God. You bring the faith, and I possess the power. You may be weak at times, and I wish to assist you always.
I have safeguarded your family from dire situations and will continue to protect them. But I want you and your entire household to seek me, believe in my word and receive the complete blessing of my holy promises. Speak to them, please, and let them know that I am aware of their lives and have a special plan that must be fulfilled. Tell them not to feel bad or become sad if they think they have lost something, a material possession, a friend, a job, or their plans that fell apart. Repeat these words to them. Everything happens for a reason. Our beloved God is in control. In the end, even things that seem negative will work in our favor. Don't seek me every day. Give thanks in all circumstances, both good and bad, and believe me, when I say this, marvelous miracles will happen when your hearts are filled with praise. Deliver my message to them. Tell them not to worry, that everything will be fine. A time of great blessings is coming for your family, and you dot, you have kept the faith, and you stand strong. I am ready to bless you. You are well prepared to receive all that I have prepared for you. I also want your troubled times to be left behind and for you to cast aside the feeling of being a failure. Let me declare something to you. None of my sons and daughters is a failure, and you will never be one. I love you, I care for you, I prepare you and I correct you. If you fall, you rise, if you make mistakes, you confess, and I forgive you with patience and love. You stand up, shake off the dust, and continue with your faith in my word and your eyes fixed on the goal. My daughters and sons make mistakes, but they persist the humility and ability to acknowledge their faults, receive my forgiveness, and leave behind all feelings of defeat and guilt. You have never been a failure. The enemy knows how you feel and has taken advantage to steal from you and to harm you. But everything that was stolen from you shall return. I want you to become accustomed to living a life of emotional freedom. Stop blaming yourself for past events and do not punish yourself by denying the opportunity to succeed. I want you to keep growing in your faith and learn to depend more on me. I will instruct you to do things that may seem impossible to you. Understand, my child, that I have chosen you to be a channel of blessing to all those you love. Step into the abundant embrace of my presence that surrounds you like a warm, comforting blanket. Begin with the melody of praise, allowing it to rise until it becomes a symphony of worship. In the cadence of your worship, the glory will unfurl. Stand, dear one. Stand in the glorious light that emanates from my heart. Know this, my cherished one, my plans for you are unwavering, and I have not altered the course set for your life. Picture me standing and waiting, ready to pour out blessings that match the depth of your praise and the fervor of your worship. You're about to witness what others have only dreamed of seeing. The high places of my presence are to be your dwelling, not just a fleeting visitation. Do not settle for occasional glimpses. Embrace the glorious dwelling I have prepared for you. Shake off any hesitation, sweet child. Take control of your emotions, focus your thoughts, and let every fiber of your being magnify praise and worship. In this abandoned heart, you will witness the extraordinary unfold. You are the one chosen and dearly loved. I appoint you as the apple of my eye, drawing you close into my unyielding protection, lavish provision and divine purpose like never before. Hear me, for today is a new dawn and a fresh pathway has unveiled itself before you. Embrace it with anticipation, knowing that this new way has found you. Rejoice, for I am with you every step, and your journey is marked by promises fulfilled and assurances that stand unshakable. 
You are cherished, guided and destined for greatness. Trust in this, for I choose you and in my choosing, you find immeasurable joy and boundless purpose. However, I want you to be cautious about what enters your ears and what your eyes see. I want my word to take precedence. Nourish yourself in it. Immerse yourself in my Holy Spirit, whether by reading, listening, speaking, writing or singing. Whatever I inspire you to do, do it in spirit and in truth. Learn to manage it. I will bestow great blessings upon you, but you must care for them. I will not lift you up so you feel overly important and become conceited. The authority I will grant you, if you want my blessings to multiply, must be used with humility. Do not allow gossip or slander against anyone. Never raise your hand or soil your tongue to harm those who esteem, help or provide you with employment through which you earn your bread. Put your effort into working, serving and being a blessing to those around you, your family and to others. I have chosen you to bear fruit, to go where I send you, to let prosperity and blessing flow in your household. I have come to speak to you as a friend. If you want to see a change in your life, you must decide to obey me and walk with me. Tell me that you will. You are entering a new stage, and if you want, you will succeed. I have chosen you to be a warrior, to bring your family forward, to lead you from victory to victory, to for my presence to accompany you in all your triumphs, from glory to glory through your praise. My dear child, I love you, champion of champions. I will bless you. I did not make a mistake when I chose you. I know what I'm doing because I want you to understand how much I love you. Together with my servants, you shall return to this earth to confront the armies of darkness. Prepare yourself, for one day you shall reign alongside me. But until that day comes, never cease to pray, seek me relentlessly. I desire your commitment to fulfill my will. Tell me now, in your own words, that you will always love me. Amen. Curious to discover more life-changing insights like these? Then dive right into our next video. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Click on the video and let's keep the universal's wisdom flowing.